I just asked Daniel if there's anything that he learned from Jordan and being in a game that he might not have known from having a year around him, seeing him as much as he saw in practice. What about you? I mean, you've been around him so much. You've seen so much of him in one setting. To see him in that setting, was there anything that you learned about him last night? Uh, just the, you know, the <clears throat> um, not having seen him in that, see how he would respond, to see how he reacts, react, how he commanded the huddle. Um, and I thought he did a really nice job. I mean, communication was really good. He handled the can game really well. Um, and so I, I thought from that part of it, he did a really nice job processing most of the night. And so it was good to see, you know, and I think that was a big stage for him. He was excited and you could see that uh, uh, he was pumped up for that game and just be able to finally get out there on that field and you know, missing the preseason last year. So uh, I thought he did a nice job. What did you think of Kurt? I Kurt did a nice job. I think uh, the limited number of reps that he gets on a daily, uh, I thought he handled the going in there in the second half and having the, a, a big menu in front of him. He thought he handled it pretty well. Uh, he came out in that second half, that first drive, and uh, did a really nice job on the keeper. And then we had to play, uh, you know, the drop back, and then he had to play action throw down the field and throw in the end breaker to Malik. Uh, he handled it really well. I mean, there's some things he's got to clean up. He's got to handle that. You know, his pocket presence wasn't the greatest as that game went on. Kind of got himself hit a little bit. Uh, so we got to clean that stuff up. But I thought he did a nice job. Did you have to protect Jordan from himself a little bit? I mean, he said he kind of you know, wanted to go back in in the third quarter, which I guess was the plan. Um, but did you just have to say, hey, you know, did you have to pull him back? Or was he yeah, no, I think it, that wasn't necessarily my call, to be honest with you. That's the, the training staff, you know, felt like that was the best decision, and I was with them, you know, whatever. We had them stay dressed or whatever out with us to stay in the game and everything. But, uh, no, I mean, you know, glad to hear that it shouldn't be too much, too big of a deal. and. Um, like I said, he got a good he got good work in that first half. We were able to throw the ball a lot because of the you know they they came up and challenged us playing a lot of man coverage. So that that was good that he got to you know what he threw threw it seventeen times or something like that. Okay, I know you try to be honest with us and we appreciate that, but you're not going to be as honest as you say are with Jordan in your meeting room with him when you go through the film or as harsh potentially on things that didn't go well. So how do you what's your approach with him? This week, like, what do you have that you can really coach him up on, and then what are the things that you can really say, hey, this is exactly what we want? And are there some plays that spring to mind from last night? Yeah, I mean, we've we've spent a lot of time. One of the biggest focuses that we've had this camp has been just dealing his tempo of his footwork and matching it to the rhythm of each throw. Um, and and throughout camp, he's had really good moments and not so good moments uh, of that. And uh, you know, getting a good base. Uh, going through your progression with your hitches, uh, letting your feet, you know, take you through your progression. And I thought last night, almost all of them, he did a really nice job. So um, that was that was good to see that, you know, when the lights came on, he didn't lose that because that's been a big emphasis of ours. Um, so it's got to continue to be that. And I think there was a couple of them. Uh, you know, there was one, uh, he threw a flat route. I can't remember who he threw. I think it was Kylan he threw in the flat, you know. They covered our primary progression, and we just would love to see him use his hitches and get back across the field and find the completion. So just stuff like that. If we can, if we can continue to get him to let his feet do the talking and the thinking for the, going through progressions, I think uh, that's been a big area of, of, of emphasis for him. That uh, most of the time it showed up really well, uh, really well last night. Uh, but but again, he's not where we need him to be yet. So sure. when you tra transition from his feet to his arm, um, Matt was saying kind of maybe there were times where he didn't grip it and rip it, kind of. Did you see that? And does that come from not being in games and being a young quarterback, not knowing the guys you're around? Or where does that come from? I, I think that comes from just more the um, the vision of the defense. So when you're when you're catching the ball, especially in the gun, you have to have your eyes down, then you have to pick your eyes up. And I think trusting what you see, is that takes experience. I think that's what we talk about Aaron. He's so, he, he sees so much and he can he's so comfortable in the games, you know, slow down for him. As a young guy like that, first opportunity out there, now full speed, not a practice rep. Now it matters if it's an interception or not. Or, you know, I thought, uh, you know, that stuff. I think sometimes you're just you, you you're a little unsure of yourself, and I think that's all that showed up a little bit. But I, like I said, I thought most of the time he did a really nice job, and he and he did. I mean, he did a really good job with the play pass stuff of, of throwing the ball really well. I know uh, Matt Turney said. Roger's probably more likely not going to play, but say you do only, you know, Jordan Love's injury does linger into the week. Can you only have Kurt? Would this be a week maybe to get Rodgers a, a drive or two on Saturday or probably not? 
Yeah, I mean, it's just different. I mean, you're talking about a, a guy that has a ton of experience. I don't think that playing in the preseason necessarily affects, you know, him that way anymore. So, uh, I, I, you know, we'll go through the week. I, I, I think that's unlikely, especially, you know, having the opportunity this week with the, you know, working with the Jets in practice too. So, uh, no, I'm not really worried about that part of it. And, and uh, whoever we got, we'll, we'll make sure these guys are ready to go. It's kind of interesting when you said you want to let his feet do the talking. Uh, can you kind of just explain how the feet leads to the decision that has to be made? Yeah, so, you know, every play, every route has a rhythm with your feet. And as you take that rhythm, if the person's not open, well, then it's time to move on in your progression. So it's time to, it's time to get your feet pointed in another direction. And so if you're, if you're hanging too long in that one spot, well, then you're going to be late when you get to the next one. Um, and that's when sacks and things like that start happening. So if you, if, you just, if you can just trust your feet, and as you're looking in the area you're supposed to, if it's not open, well, it's time to move on. And, and so that's, as a young guy, that's hard to, hard to do because sometimes you want to give that primary progression an opportunity to get open, and you just can't. And you have to just let your feet, like I say, if, you, if it's a left, right, and a hitch, or a left, right, and a plant, and they're not there, then you need to get your, your first hitch, or whether it's your second hitch, to your next, your next in progression. And I think that that's, uh, that's the biggest thing, and the biggest challenge for young guys. And that, the, like I said, it's been a huge emphasis this training camp with Jordan. Luke, you overlapped with Kylan Hill at Mississippi State in 2018. Is there anything, looking back on that time, that you can see growth in or saw NFL potential there? I know there's been a lot since yeah. then. No, that, yeah, they definitely saw NFL potential, that, you know, as soon as we got going with Kylan at Mississippi State. There's no doubt about that. <clears throat> I think the biggest thing for him is, um, you know, his professional uh, men, uh, attitude or, or effort or the way he's approaching uh, the, the classroom and, and the practice field. He's done a great job of being humble, uh, being focused, and trying to – there's a lot on, the, on his plate. You know, our running backs have a lot on their plate. Uh, we, we do a lot of different things. We line them up in a bunch of different places, and that's something that we didn't necessarily challenge him with at Mississippi State. Um, and I, So I thought he's done a really nice job of, of uh, really trying to – be a pro um, because I think it's in him. I think athletically, uh, he, he's a very talented young man, and, and uh, that's something obviously I saw there at Mississippi State. Two more. Hey, Luke, um, I, I, don't, I don't pretend to know Kurt all that well at this point yet, but he seems to have a pretty good um, energy to him, so to speak. Is that, a, is that both a good thing and a bad thing? Like if, kind of he seemed like he was feeling himself there toward the end. No, I think Kurt's uh, – he is a high-energy guy. Um, I think he does have some confidence. And, he, you know, he's been in the NFL for three seasons already too, so I think there is some confidence. He's, this is his third preseason now. Um, and so I think there is some confidence there, and I think he believes in himself, and I, and I love that part of it. Um, his communication has been great, but he also has been really good in our room. I mean, he's um, – He's taking that role on too. He understands. I think being around, you know, you know, all pro guys like Matt Ryan. I think, you know, he he, he knows what this is all about, and he knows, uh, you know, one of his primary focuses is making sure that the room is doing well and that Aaron's going to play at a high level. And it's all about getting the guy that's on the field playing at a high level. So that part of it, he's been great. He he his uh, I, I've I've saw saw nothing negative about his confidence or his energy. I think it's all been really good. Speaking of that room. Um, Aaron was on the TV broadcast last night. He told the story of his first preseason game where the headset went out and it was raining and everything else. Do you see him helping Jordan through this part of the process now, the, the game part of it? Because he had Jordan hasn't really had that and Rogers has had a chance to help him with it. Yeah, no, he was great. He was great last night. I mean, he would come over uh, as we were looking at the pictures and he just saw one or two things as the game was going live and he just, you know, Gave him some good little tidbits. He he's been outstanding. I mean, his approach and his mentality, um, his leadership and all that stuff, mentoring all that. I mean, he's he's been phenomenal. He's helped out Jordan a ton. He's been, like I said, I mentioned twice now that Jordan's feet have been a big emphasis. Well, no one has better feet than Aaron, and so just him constantly, you know, letting uh, Jordan uh, kind of that insight of where his mind is with his feet and why he does what he does with his feet. Uh, I think it's been huge for Jordan. Zoom for one. Go ahead, Sarah. Just one, Aaron Luke, I only ask because you guys got obviously the all 22 and we don't during the preseason. Uh, if that gets blocked up, 
on the shot from a strip sack fumble, if that's locked up there, do you think Jordan makes a big play? Because it looked like he was ready to let it go. Yeah, he was definitely ready to let it go. It'll be interesting. The safety was kind of squeezing uh, the route we had running down the middle of the field, um, but it was also transitioning towards, I think it was Funch that was on the left sideline. I think that's where Jordan was going with the ball. Uh, so it would have been interesting to see what would have happened. Um, uh, I, I think I would have rathered him kind of look deep and, and throw the check down to that we had sitting on the sideline. Uh, but I, I do. It, there was definitely a potential for, for a big play.